I am excited for her next chapter. That's why I want to be as excited as every parent. I don't want to have to worry about her entering a world where she has to worry about how people would treat her because of the color of her skin. So I, I am excited, but I'd like to be more excited <laughs> to know that as she goes out and gets her first apartment and rides the subway somewhere, that they don't make assumptions about her sure. based on the color of her skin, that she's not at risk out there in the world as an adult because she's a black woman. It really is amazing uh, when you think about where we are now as a society where we're somebody who I mean, M- Michelle Obama, Barack Obama, uh, these are individuals who are, are among the most powerful, lucky, wealthy, influential human beings on Earth. I mean, they're probably in like the top 10 on the planet. And. You know, she, Michelle Obama's worried about her her daughter being able to rent an apartment. Really? Michelle Obama's daughter is going to be living in a $10 million mansion in Bel Air or in Malibu or in, you know, New York City. I assure you the moment that she wants to. And, and y- you listening to this will probably never live in a house like that. I will never live in a house like that. But Michelle Obama's children will live wherever they want to. And that, look. That's fine. Barack Obama's made a lot of money. And, you know, this is I'm a capitalist. I believe that. people. But can we not deal with the whining? I'm just I want to. Can we not hear about how it's you know, it's going to be so hard for them? Really? Oh, you're right. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be racist to the Obama uh, to the Obama children, now adults in front of the Secret Service details that they have escorting them around for the rest of their life. I'm sure they're really going to you know deal with the. The sting of racism in that context. Come on, folks. Come on. I mean, enough is enough. But you see, even no matter how, when you're when you're a leftist who has risen through the Demo- to the very top of the Democrat Party, and identity politics has always been such a part of one's individual narrative, victimology goes hand in hand with that, and 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 you will never uh, drop that. Why? It's power. It's power. Not only are you rich and famous and influential, but anyone who criticizes you is racist. Well, that's amazing. I mean, you get to you get to have all the trappings of power, all the actual influence and upside of our society. But you you have a a built in protection against anyone criticizing you, saying it. Just say, oh, my gosh, they're being racist. Look, look at all the challenges we deal with. They, they've said mean things. I want to be ultra rich and wealthy and influential in America and, and have a built in defense against any criticism that will silence most people. I'm sorry. I just I couldn't. There's something that's just too much. I mean, does Michelle Obama really think that her daughter's going to have a hard time renting an apartment? Does she really does she really believe that? Really? The daughter of the president. I mean, I think they both go to Harvard, both the daughters. You know, I, I, I mean, did they even have to submit transcripts? I, I don't know. Probably as a pro forma thing, but I'm pretty sure the Obama children could get into absolutely any school they want anywhere in the country. We all know that. Does anyone want to does anyone want to take the other side of that argument? Oh, no, no. It's very hard for the Obama children to get into the most elite university they want because of what a racist society we live in. Does anyone want to take that side of the argument? They'll look really stupid. We all know that. Ah, no, but we all we all have to play this game still where we act like, you know, Michelle Obama's worried about her children being able to rent an apartment where, you know, where you have LeBron James saying that he that 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 black people are being hunted every time they leave their homes by the police. A horrifying thing to say where Don Lemon tells everybody that. He's worried, this was some years ago, that he calls his mom and he gets home because he's so worried about the police killing him. Where Nancy Pelosi and, and Chuck Schumer uh, pretend that they care so much about these, these concerns that are held by very prominent minorities and that they somehow have a connection to this that's not just about their own pursuit of power. Yeah, this is the society that we live in now where we have to just hear these things and say, yeah, yeah. That's reasonable. 
Sure. Oh, and in case you're wondering, Michelle Obama also wants uh, wants you to uh, get the vaccine. Play five. It does seem like we're coming out of the COVID valley. Mm-hmm. You know, we, you know, we're, it was a long, dark tunnel. I think we're still sort of in the tunnel, but mm-hmm. I do sort of see light back there. Yeah. Well, it'd what be better light if people would get vaccinated. Back, yeah. <laughs> There's still so many people that e- are either yeah. scared or just think, yeah. no, I'm not doing it. All I can say is that I, I have tried to live a life where I don't lie to people. <laughs> And the science behind a vaccine is the same science that's behind aspirin and insulin. What are the COVID rules for visiting the Obamas? Uh, Now it's be vaccinated. Be vaccinated. Uh, That's you want you want to hang out with us? Get your vaccine. Get get all of it. Finish it up, and then we can talk. So I urge everybody out there. Uh, within the sound of our voices, please, please get the vaccine. Um, it's time. Michelle Obama knows nothing about science or medicine, but that won't be in, in any professional or she was a hospital administrator. If you are wondering who was making, I think, three hundred thousand dollars a year while her husband was a senator from Illinois, uh, three hundred thousand dollars a year at a public hospital to be a, a diversity educator or to be a coordinator for diversity. So, yeah, she's worked at a hospital. She knows nothing about medicine in a professional capacity. But I'm sure you're not allowed to actually point out that it's only the people that have criticisms of the Fauci consensus who have to be MDs. Everybody else who's out there who who is just saying whatever they're supposed to uh, about the Fauci consensus, they uh, they they, their medical degree is is not up for debate or discussion. Um, But also, I thought it was very strange when she said that the vaccine is the same. No, 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 no. This this vaccine is not it's not the same science. I, I understand what she was roughly getting at here, but uh, this is these are vaccines that are relying on technology that is new, that is uh, has not been around for a long time at all. Obviously, uh, this is not using a non steroidal anti inflammatory drug. This is a whole other level. Um, but don't ask any questions, folks. Just shut up and do what you're told. That's the America we live in now. When Michelle Obama speaks, you listen and do as you're told. When Dr. Fauci speaks, you listen and do as you're told. And if you won't, if you if there's any part of you that has an issue with that, you're a bad person who wants old people to die and doesn't want America to go back to normal. That's where we are. That's this Democrat administration. Oh, but they're uniters. The Biden team, they're they're uniters, aren't they? Sure they are. Hey, Team Buck, thank you so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you like this video, please click that little thumbs up button so then it will log as liked. And also, if you want to see more great content from the first, please click subscribe. 